Hello, and welcome back to Amateur Money, where we make the world of finance simple and accessible for everyone. If you're new here, consider subscribing to stay up to date with our content. Today, we're going to dive into the different types of bank accounts and help you decide which one might be the best fit for you. Overview Before we delve in, let's define a bank account. A bank account is more than a safe place to store your money. It's a financial tool maintained by a bank or other financial institution that allows you to manage your finances effectively. You can deposit funds into it, withdraw money when needed, and even earn interest in certain cases. It serves as the backbone of your personal financial management, helping you track income, expenses, and savings. Bank accounts are not one size fits all. There's a variety to choose from, each designed to cater to specific financial needs and goals. They range from checking accounts, which are ideal for daily transactions, to savings accounts, designed for money accumulation over time. Money market accounts, on the other hand, offer a blend of the features from checking and savings accounts, and certificates of deposit CDs, are a unique type of time-bound account that lock in your funds for a predetermined period in exchange for higher interest. Understanding the function and benefits of each type of account is essential to making an informed decision that aligns with your financial goals. So, let's dive deeper into each of these bank account types to help you navigate your banking choices. Checking Accounts Let's begin with checking accounts, the workhorses of the banking world. Checking accounts are primarily used for routine financial transactions, like paying bills, depositing paychecks, or making purchases. They are designed for frequent use, allowing you to access your money when you need it, making them an ideal choice for managing day-to-day -day finances. Most checking accounts come with a debit card, which can be used at ATMs for cash withdrawals or at stores for direct purchases. Some even offer online bill pay and mobile check deposit, allowing you to handle most of your financial tasks from the comfort of your home. They typically offer unlimited transactions, meaning there's no limit on the number of deposits and withdrawals you can make each month. However, the convenience of checking accounts comes with a trade-off. They usually don't earn much, if any, interest. This means your money won't grow over time as it could in some other types of accounts. So while a checking account is great for managing your monthly income and expenses, it's not designed to help your savings grow. Savings Accounts Next on the list are Savings Accounts, the financial tool designed to promote and reward saving. Savings accounts are ideal for storing money that you don't intend to spend immediately. They typically offer higher interest rates than checking accounts, which means your money can grow over time. This interest, even if it seems small, can accumulate over time due to the power of compounding, making your savings work harder for you. Most savings accounts come with certain restrictions to encourage long-term saving. One of these is a limit on the number of withdrawals you can make each month. This is not a random rule, but a federal regulation known as Regulation D, which sets a limit of six convenient transfers or withdrawals per month from savings and money market accounts. This includes transfers and withdrawals made by check, debit card, or online. However, it's important to note that savings accounts are not designed for regular spending. They lack the flexibility of checking accounts, usually not offering check writing capabilities or a debit card for purchases. Instead, they're best used as a place to build an emergency fund, save for specific goals, or set aside money that you won't need to spend in the near future. Money Market Accounts now let's talk about money market accounts, a versatile option that combines features of both checking and savings accounts. These are unique because they generally offer higher interest rates than traditional savings accounts, enabling your balance to grow faster over time. This makes them an attractive option for individuals who want to earn a competitive return on their money, while maintaining access to their funds. One of the defining features of money market accounts is their flexibility. Unlike regular savings accounts, many money market accounts come with a debit card and check writing capabilities, which can make them a good option for those who want a blend of spending accessibility and savings potential. They can provide a convenient way to pay bills or make purchases directly from your account, while still earning interest on your balance. But, like savings accounts, they're subject to certain limitations. Regulation D also applies to money market accounts, which means you're generally limited to six convenient transfers or withdrawals per month. Keep in mind that exceeding these limits can result in fees or account closure. Therefore, while a money market account provides more accessibility than a savings account, it's not designed to be used as frequently as a checking account. 
It's best for individuals who can maintain a higher balance and want to earn a better interest rate while still having some transaction capabilities. Certificates of Deposit CDs. Let's shift gears to a slightly different type of account. Certificates of Deposit or CDs. CDs are unique, time-bound savings instruments that work a little differently from the other accounts we've discussed. They're essentially a contract between you and the bank, where you agree to deposit a certain amount of money and leave it untouched for a fixed period. This period, known as the term, can range anywhere from a few months to several years. In exchange for agreeing to this term, the bank offers a higher interest rate than you typically receive with a savings or money market account. This is the main appeal of CDs. They can be a low-risk way to earn a predictable return on your money. The longer the term, the higher the interest rate is likely to be. However, there's a significant catch, the early withdrawal penalty. If you need to access your money before the term is up, you'll typically face a penalty which could eat into the interest you've earned and may even dip into the principal. Therefore, CDs are best suited for individuals who have a chunk of money that they're certain they won't need to touch for a set period of time. They offer a trade-off between higher returns and reduced liquidity, making them a great tool for longer-term savings goals. Choosing the right account Now that we've explored the different types of bank accounts, the question remains, which one is the right fit for you? The answer to this largely depends on your individual financial goals, needs, and habits. If your primary need is to manage everyday financial transactions like paying bills, depositing paychecks, or making purchases, a checking account is likely your best bet. It offers the flexibility and accessibility required for daily financial activities. On the other hand, if your goal is to grow your savings with a higher interest rate, a savings or money market account could serve you better. These accounts encourage saving habits and offer interest rates higher than a checking account, with the money market account offering a blend of savings and transactional features. For those who have a chunk of money that they're certain they won't need for a specified period, a certificate of deposit CD, could be an excellent choice. CDs typically offer the highest interest rates and can be a smart way to save for long-term goals. However, keep in mind the early withdrawal penalty before committing to this option. It's also worth noting that you're not limited to choosing just one type of account. Many individuals opt for a combination of account types to serve different needs. For instance, you could use a checking account for daily transactions, a savings account for building an emergency fund, and a CD for long-term saving goals. The key is to understand your financial needs and choose the accounts that best support those needs. Remember, the right bank account isn't just a storage space for your money, it's a tool that helps you manage and grow your finances effectively. To wrap up, understanding the different types of bank accounts and how they work can help you make the most of your money. Remember, the right bank account for you depends on your personal financial needs and goals. That's it for today's video. If you found this information helpful, please give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe for more financial insights. This is Amateur Money, and we're here to help you make sense of your sense. Until next time.